All right, folks, Paul, IPAC instructor, coming to you with probably one of my more important videos. Of course, I ask that you share it. You know, we, the United States, have just been warned by China that should we continue to, in their opinion, um, be the aggressor that they fully intend on attacking our critical infrastructure, uh, such as railways, airlines, internet, electrical grid, and as we saw in the last global health crisis in 2020, um, it certainly had long lasting ripple effects. You know, they may go after the railroad system, but being in such a global um, society, as well as everything is interlinked, it will most certainly cause disruptions in other areas. But my biggest concern is really the electrical grid. I, I think we have like nine substations uh, that ultimately keep the electric on across the entire continental United States. Nine substations. Now you have a nation like China, uh, a very large nation. Uh, they have a lot of technology, a lot of ability, a lot of funding. Uh, should they be determined, actually have a goal, and are determined to go after our electrical grid, there is a good chance that a large portion of our country would lose electrical power. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember a few years ago back in New York when the power grid failed in New York City, uh, the chaos had reigned for many days. And you know, folks, it doesn't take very long. It does not take very long for the criminal element to acknowledge that law and order has collapsed. And once they do, they will <laughs> dig deep into their evils and ultimately will commit heinous crimes uh, for their personal gain. But, you know, after just a few six hours, 12 hours, um, you're going to start having people who become desperate. Millions of Americans have very little food in their uh, pantries. Uh, millions of Americans, tens of millions, rely on tap water, which if the electrical grid goes out, that water system that the city is providing you with, of course, they have backup generators, but how long do they last? They don't last forever either. Gas stations, their power goes out. Many have uh, backup generators, hospitals, but they don't last forever. Folks, I feel it's my job to warn you and it's my job to encourage you to be prepared. Should our system get struck, you better have a bug out location. You ought to have a plan of where you're gonna go, how you're gonna get there, have a backup plan, because there's a good chance that first plan isn't going to work, right? As well as have your bug out bag and uh, preps ready to go, the important documents for your family, whether it be house deeds, social security cards, um, the important valuables, silver, gold, ammunition, firearms, uh, some sentimental items that you wish to take with you because in mass chaos and looting, fires will be spreading, arsonists will be running rampant, criminal sexual assaults gonna skyrocket, robberies, and um, you need to be prepared with multiple tools. You know, I walk around in my videos, you see we, me wearing my gear. The goal is to be prepared and acclimate to my terrain, wearing the body armor, the helmet, carrying the ammo, all that extra weight. Because in a bug out situation, that's exactly what's going to happen. And I am needing to protect, as a father, my family. But I also teach my children and my family what are the protocols and procedures. Know what our call signs are. Know what our code words are. And know what bug out actually means. Know what it means to have to go dark, walking in the dark. Um, and, uh, uh, of course, moving in silence. Folks, we are not living in the 80s and 90s. That was a great time in our country. Uh, but I feel that... Uh, times are certainly changing. We're seeing geopolitical uh, tensions at an all-time high. Our global society is fracturing. And I, I've said it in many videos before that nations, 
peoples are picking sides and they're picking sides and they're creating staunch alliances amongst each other. And we don't know when it's going to happen. And by God's grace, it won't. But in my opinion, it's not if, but when. And that when can be as soon as the time that I upload this video. That when could be years from now. But why not have a plan? You know, folks come take my concealed carry classes in Chicago because they see the signs. They see the criminal element is running supreme, ruling supreme. And though it's a numbers game, we got, what, 3 million people in Chicago. Though it's a numbers game, our chances of finding ourselves in a lethal encounter, an armed robbery in Chicago are increasing. And that's why so many people have taken my classes because their eyes, their mind's eye is opening and seeing that <laughs> it might just be knocking on their back door at any point. My opinion should be a lot more, but nonetheless, it is what it is. Folks, I can only encourage you, learn some bushcraft, learn some prepping, Learn how to bug out. Have yourself prepared with good quality equipment. Take additional training. Because when the adrenaline dump happens and there are multiple threats, most likely that diaper being loaded is going to cause a person to make critical errors. Any error could result in the demise of yourself or your family not safely making it to that bug location. So I can only encourage you. I mean, remember just a few weeks ago, half of all senators were issued satellite phones in the event of a major calamity that the continuity of government and the uh, communications amongst our elected representatives would remain. They're warning you. They're telling you, you know, government messes up in everything. <clears throat> and we know that. But they are pretty good at giving significant bulletins and warnings, and they do that for a reason. Regardless of your political view of, you know, whether or not we are beating the drum to cause a war, if it happens, if chaos reigns, ultimately you got to worry about yourself. You got to worry about your family, your community. And that needs to be your priority when all hell is breaking loose out there. So I would encourage you, talk to each other in the comments section. Let each other know what type of preparedness you may be acquiring and doing in order to prevent your family falling victim, whether it be city or rural, um, your family falling victim to a horrific, uh, horrific event. Folks, I would also encourage you, please check out the sponsors of my video. I will pin a link in the comment section and in the description it's a free 100 percent free survive the great outdoors guide it helps uh, uh support this channel as well as it's great uh education and training for you i appreciate you guys remain safe